The Infocom Media Development Authority of Singapore partnered with Physical Education and Sports Teacher Academy to pilot the use of Hackerball for physical education on PE lessons at Hague Girls School and Princess Elizabeth Primary School with the latter extending it for their program for active learning on PAL lessons. This project aims to find out if the use of technology for PE can help students with self-regulation, promote active learning and provide immediate feedback to students and teachers. Hackerball is a programmable ball that is encased in a nest of rubber and silicone that acts as a shock absorber to protect it from bounces, throws and drops. One thing significant was that it was very enticing, it was very attractive when all the lights start to come out. Students naturally, as we have seen, my students came up here and they were like, wow, right with the, with the ball. So that was one thing which is, uh, is important, it, it entices a student. The PE teachers designed and coded games in the hacker ball, so it is transformed into a valuable tool that is able to provide instant feedback during lessons and enable them to monitor the progress of their students. Students can now practice throwing, rolling and tossing skills and get instant feedback on their progress from the sensors on the ball. There was this activity that uh, we tried with the students. Uh, we get them to remember like certain colours. If you see red, you take a step forward. If you see yellow, you swing your arm back. And if you feel a vibration, you roll the ball. So uh, this is a very important uh, teaching cue for rolling. The lights and sounds on the hacker ball not only excite and motivate students, it also acts as a visual and audio cue for students to start the physical activity without further prompting from teachers. The teacher doesn't need to tell us to stop or restart because the hacker ball will tell us. Teachers at Princess Elizabeth School have also used the hacker ball during PAL lessons to help students develop social-emotional skills through working together in teams, creating and inventing their own games. One of its uh, pros is actually of course, the cognitive ability of a student to actually map out their own games, to, to create deep thinking into how to create their own games. Students need to agree with one another on the rules of the games as well as the colour and sounds to be used. Students practice negotiating with their team members and have opportunities to identify their friends as well as their own emotions in the process. After playing the games that they have created, students can make changes, improve upon their games and develop creative confidence through creation of their own games. Through the meaningful use of technology, teachers are able to monitor and give immediate feedback to the students. Students have greater ownership of their learning, develop self-regulation and learn while having fun.